Alright guys, welcome to your 23rd UDK tutorial, and in the last tutorial, I taught you guys how to use material expressions to make a very basic material, in this case, just a plain old pink material. And in this tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use textures, and hold on a second, my ear just getting, I have no idea, but it seems every time I hit the record button, my ears start itching. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> but anyways, in this tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use textures so we can use textures and materials instead of just a plain solid color. For example, whenever you're making like a 3D house, we want a texture for the siding and the windows, and we want a texture to sh simulate the shingles on the roof. So of course we can't just use basic plain colors for this. We need some picture, basically. So typically we're going to create textures in places like Photoshop in external programs or you can go ahead and buy textures offline. But for now just to make sure we're all on the same page I'm just going to be using some built in textures that are already included in the content browser. So the very first thing we need to do is we already have our package in our group set up. We need to create a new material. So go ahead and right click and just go ahead and select new material and again like I said our package and grouping is already set up so I'm gonna give this material a name of crappy material O2 and go ahead and click OK and it's gonna open up that material in the material editor now a couple of things I want to point out is this first of all you guys probably are noticing that my material expressions window is closed and I actually closed that for a reason because I have an easier way where you can work with material expressions and add them to your big pane. Now aside from just dragging and dropping them from the material expressions window you can also right click and select all of your expressions from here and this gives you a nice a better organized list that all your material expressions are rather than this window where you have to scroll down and find them all so go ahead and close out of that I'm not going to be using that anymore so in order to add a texture to a material what we need is the material expression texture sample so go ahead and right click and under our texture group we're going to find this new texture sample now go ahead and we're going to be applying this eventually to the diffuse property right here so go ahead and control and scroll this up to the diffuse. Now I want to say this before I even continue. In the last tutorial I told you guys that the diffuse was kind of the overall color of your material. That may have been confusing and I probably shouldn't have chose those words. The diffuse is pretty much the overall look of your material. So you can give it a basic color but you can also give it a texture. So say we had a brick texture or a wood texture or a metal texture and we plug that into the diffuse then your material will look like that brick or wood or what else did I say metal so basically diffuse is not color it's the overall look I don't want to confuse you guys so we're going to be making a texture here plug it in into the diffuse and whatever texture we have here is going to give our overall look of the material so that being said let me go ahead and put my money where my mouth is and actually show you guys how to add a texture in this texture sample so if we go ahead and we click this expression right here, it takes two properties. The first one is what texture do you want to associate it with, and the second one is the description. And by the way, every material expression has a description. It's basically just a little comment that you can have to organize your uh, material expression. So if we go ahead and type like bricks right here, because we're going to be adding a brick texture, and we click out, we can see that we get a nice little comment that says bricks right above here. Again, it's not required, but if you want to add a nice little comment above your expressions, go ahead and type it in the description. So now let me go ahead and show you guys how to associate this expression with the actual texture. Go ahead and clear, actually, did you know that in Windows 7, if you just go ahead and grab a window and pull it to the right, it'll make it exactly that size. And same thing, if you pull this one exactly to the left, it'll kind of line up. So that's not a UDK thing, that's just a Windows 7 thing for all you Windows 7 users. I actually use that quite a bit. So now that I'm done with that little rant, go ahead and clear out everything so you're in all assets and clear out both of these. And we're going to be looking for a texture. So go ahead and select textures right here. And I'm going to be looking for building textures right here. So in order to associate a texture with a material expression, go ahead and select 
that texture don't go ahead and double click it or else it's going to open up the material editor just go ahead and select it now back in your material editor window go ahead and hit this green button right here when you have your texture sample selected and what this green button says is whatever you have currently selected in your content browser and in this case is this brick texture that's the texture I want to associate with it so go ahead and hit green and as you can see since that brick material was currently selected that's the texture that we want to use whenever we're referencing this bricks expression so that's pretty cool that's how you do that now you're saying alright we got this texture set up so how do we make a apply to our material well all we need to do is we need to drag the black output into this input for diffuse and remember the diffuse like I said is the overall look for your material so whenever we're outputting this texture into the diffuse this overall look for material is going to be this texture right here so that's why when we're scrolling our material that's what we get pretty cool huh so in the next tutorial I'm going to be telling you guys how to add uh, kind of like detail or oh well, I'll, I'll cover that in the next tutorial for now don't worry about it for now all you have to worry about is go ahead and apply these changes and that's gonna save your material basically and then make sure you right click and save your package as well and that's gonna save everything inside your material just go ahead and make sure you clear out of that so you can see it so now our material is saved and we are good to go so that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be editing this brick material to make it look even better. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.